Hello friends, welcome once again. Today in this uh, video, we are going to learn how can we make this kind of glass blocks. You know, this kind of glass box we normally use for some like an interior design element. So we are going to learn how we are going to make this kind of glass box. So let's go to a Revit. Okay, this is a Revit metric uh, page. So I will do one thing. I will just go for structure wall and from here I will go for curtain wall, right? So this is a curtain wall. I'll take off something. Uh, yeah. Okay, this is my curtain wall. So let's go in 3D and have a look. Okay, this is my curtain wall, right? From level one to level two. So how I'm going to make the glass box. So for that, I have to go for file. I have to go for new family, click a family over here. Go for English. And from English, I have to go for metric curtain wall panel, right? So I'll click this over here, open. <clears throat> so this I've got a exterior page. Then I've got a review one exterior, then left and left end. So I will do one thing. I'll just close everything. I'll just keep exterior open and I'll close that everything. So here we got a exterior. So first of all, we have to make a reference planes. For that reference plane, just type RP on your keyboard. RP. Okay. We'll take over here. Online. We'll make one reference plane over here. Okay. Then one reference plane over here. Okay. And one reference plane over. Here. Okay. So now let's give a dimension from here to here. Yeah. Okay, and then from here to here. Okay. Okay. So now let me pick this and we have to make a parameter for this. So this width. Let me write th. Okay. Yeah, and this is the height. So I'll make a parameter for this height. Height. Okay. Now okay. With so I'll need to change and check with it's 200 and height around 200. Apply. Okay, so we got over here. Now we have to make I'll do one thing. Yeah, now I'll go for three solution. Love this. <coughs> From zero is to something like that. We'll make a block of 100. Okay, let's click OK. Let's go to 3D view and let's have a little. Okay, so this is the block, right? Now, as per our photograph, we see over here how it is, right? So, yes. So we'll do one thing. Okay, this is a block, but we have to make a chamfer over here. From all the ways, we have to make a chamfer. First thing, we'll make a chamfer over here. So we'll go over here. Then from here, we'll make a swept pickup path. One, two, three, four. So we will make a chamfer over here. So from here, we'll do one thing. We'll take from this line, we'll take a 16. 
okay and set on this line we'll take 16 okay so we've got two points now exactly from this point to this point we'll make a So we'll just will extend it out so we can do a chamfer properly. So this we have made. Okay, saying quit sketching. Let me see what exactly where the problem is. So we'll do one thing. We'll okay, I think. okay done but this for chamfering it says solid and void so we want a void thing right so we'll just select this to void and then we'll select this okay select this done so we got a chamfer at this end all right you can see we got a chamfer at this end. the same thing we have to do with the other end so let's go over here We'll take we'll take a swap and then we'll pick up a path. Uh, again, we'll pick up this. Okay, all the four side will pick up. Okay, we'll edit profile. So for editing profile, the same thing what we have did. We'll select this, and from here we'll make a line and we'll take a 16 on one. Okay, and from here again we'll take a 16. Then we'll take a radius arch, we'll touch over here and we'll make an arch. Okay, so this is what we have created. Now, over here, we'll go for void. Okay, that. So we got a sample block. All right. Okay, now let's go back to our exterior. So this is a sample box. Now what we have seen over this over here, mm, yeah, the sample box, there's something like a feeling over here. Like sometimes we get a motor or we have some like a rubber outside. So we'll do one thing. We'll make a extrusion. We'll make a rectangle from here, right? So here we'll make a rectangle again. Okay, all right. Let me close this. Let me come to review. Okay, so this way. So we'll do one thing now. In this case, we'll make it short till 90. Right, we made it 90 from zero. Now we'll make it uh, something like five and five. Okay, so we have got a center five and ninety-five, right? So this way it is. So this is a block ready. Now let us give the material over here right so for that we have to create okay for this we'll do over here we'll make a parametric family for the material okay we'll add it and we'll write uh, something like a glass block motor okay Okay, and the inside also. Inside is the uh, again we'll add the metric in the glass block. Glass glass block. Done. So let's go over here. 
uh, or glass block will give a material. Okay, we'll do one thing. We'll create a new material over here. I will name it as a glass block. Glass block, right? And then we'll open this browser. From here, we'll go for Prince Material Library. Then we'll go for Glass. We'll check which one we want. Uh, no. Glazing. We see texture. I think this glass bubbles, right? So we have something like a bubbly effect in this glass. So we select this. Okay. It's getting updated. We'll see in a cube how it looks in a cube. Okay. This is exactly what we are looking out for, right? Yes. So we'll apply this. <clears throat> and okay. Then in the class block motor over here, I will again make a create new material. I'll rename this to something like class. Glass block and I'll do one thing. I'll go here and something like one block. You know, maybe we don't know. And yeah, a rubber. So I'll make a soft rubber, right? Black color something or silicon, whatever you can make it. Either we can make a silicon or we can make a rubber. So double click this. Yes, we got over here. Apply. Okay. Apply. Okay, let's go and let's take a have a look. Okay, it looks something this way. So let's load the project. So these are glass blocks ready, almost ready. So loading the project. Okay, here we have a glass. Alright, so we'll go here and edit type. We'll duplicate this, we'll like glass block. glass block okay and then curtain panel will select over here to family one we have not named it so it's family one right now so family one vertical layout will do one thing we'll keep a quick distance of uh, around 210 okay and quick distance about to 10 because you will remember the glass block is around 10 so 200 and uh, 5 5 is about the rubber so for the distance we we'll make a okay way. so this is the glass block ready now okay so let me take you to Enscape and show how it really looks So this is the glass block there, right? You can see. Got it? So yeah, I think this is the perfect what we had in the image. Alright, so what is okay? So this way you can create your glass block for the any kind of interiors element so friends thank you for watching